Hi guys, it's Martin Henderson here, and I'm going to show you how to make a cool sunset airbrush picture. And you're going to need an airbrush, stencils, some paper, reducer, paints, an easel, some airbrush cleaner, an air hose, newspaper, and an air pump. So your first step in doing this is to lay down some newspaper to prevent your paint from splattering all over the place and so you don't have to worry about making a huge mess. Your next step is setting up your easel and making sure that your paper is backed up with a piece of cardboard to prevent it from moving. Your next step is to attach your air hose to your air pump and then attach the other end of the hose to the airbrush so you can start your painting. Your next step is to add your paint to your air gun. So you'll start by putting in a small amount of paint into the cup and then following that you will put a small amount some redu a few drops of reducer into your cup and then you'll mix it with your toothpick Once your air pump is on, you take your gun and you just very gently press the button and spray the paint until paint starts to come out of the gun. Now if you have to, you can loosen the nozzle on here. I've finally gotten the paint nozzle loosened enough to get paint coming out of it. Now when you start painting, you'll just very gently take your gun and start to spray. It takes a little time to get used to the muscle memory, so that's important to remember. Now that I've finished the first coat of paint, I'm going to add my next color, which will be yellow. And I have two options. I could take the gun apart and clean it and then put my yellow in. Or I can add my yellow into the paint as is now and let it all, let the rest of the orange run through. And for sake of time, I'm going to do the second option. As you can see, I've finished with the yellow paint. And with me leaving the orange in there, it gives the sky a nice smoother transition with the color. As you can see, I am finally done with the sky. And... If you look very closely, you'll see there are small little layered parts that almost have a pattern to them. And to do that, you just need a torn up piece of paper and just to hold it up to your canvas and spray the paint. And now that that's all done, I'm ready to add my stencils of my deer and grass onto the picture. Alright, you're finally ready to start adding your stencils. But for this, you're going to spray inside your stencil frame instead of all around the paper and you're going to use purple for things that are further back and also for things that are further back you'll make them smaller and for things that are closer up you'll use black and you'll make them slightly bigger so now that you see I've finished the deer and the pine trees in the background you can see what I mean about using a purple or blue in the back because it almost makes it seem like the pine trees are further in the distance and the deer are closer up seeing as how big they are compared to the pine trees. This step is completely optional for you. If you want to mount this on a piece of black mounting board, you can. And I recommend a 2 inch border around it. This helps also with making sure your paper does not curl on you over time. And the best recommended type of adhesive, I would say, would be a spray glue or rubber cement. And with this, your best option is to lightly spray a thin coat all around your paper. Like so.
Alright guys, that's it to my video. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. And you have so many different takes you could take with this. It would be a lot of fun to see what you guys do with it. And if you have any questions, comment in the YouTube section. Thanks.